It's time for Veterans Issues, the show that brings you information about veterans, military, and their families. Now here's your host, Ken Rollins. Welcome to Veterans Issues. Ken Rollins here. Appreciate you tuning in this week. And this show is brought to you by the Red, White, and Blue. And today I've got uh, Enrique Long, Lang and uh, Sunday. I want to say Sunday, but it, and I'll, I'll do that through the show. <laughs> Sunday. Coleman and so uh, you veterans gather around and your spouses you veterans gather around okay, I got some good info stay where you are get you one of these be right back <laughs> welcome back into veterans issues I'm going to get this right my guest is Enrique <laughs> Enrique Lang I said Enrique but it's Enrique <laughs> Lang and uh, Sanda Monday if I say Sunday, Monday, a lot of you here locally, I know who I'm talking about. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. No, I'll Ready? give you the, we're close <laughs> enough, but appreciate y'all showing up here today. We're going to talk about the Fair Housing Act. Mm -hmm. Sunday, you've been on here before. We talked about this somewhat, but uh, I got I to gotta tell you how. Enrique. 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 <laughs> came by the studio and just walked in and next thing you know, he and I are talking and he's on the show. Uh, folks out there wonder how to get on the show sometimes, just stop by the studio here and we'll, <laughs> we'll work it out. So we this all panned out, but he yeah. had something he wanted to yeah. talk about for veterans. Yeah. And, sure. and and I want to talk about both of you about this. Uh, but what is, uh, Andre, what is the um, Fair Housing mm -hmm. Agency yeah. of Alabama? Tell me yeah. just briefly how that. Yeah, the Fair Housing Agency of Alabama, Ken, is a statewide community organization. We are physically located in Mobile, and we provide services in regards to housing in every category except we don't find people housing. We address issues such as tenant landlord disputes. Uh, we provide um, information in regards to home buying, mortgage lending, and we conduct community symposiums to help uh, persons to improve their economic viability. In addition to that, we uh, provide, uh, when it comes to natural catastrophes, we provide a lot of technical assistance, temporary housing when it comes to hurricanes, uh, BP oil spill, disaster, uh, anything that has to do with a natural catastrophe, we are available and we provide immediate technical assistance to the victim. Mm -hmm. right. So you're, you're not in the finding housing business. You're no. making sure that the, yeah. the people get fair, Absolutely. fair conditions yeah. in that. Yeah. But now, where this is veterans issues, how does that help veterans? Well, there are many areas in which we target veterans. And being a veteran myself, I'm very much involved with uh, the issues that have to do with veterans. I'm a Vietnam vet, uh, United States Marine Corps. And we have areas within our current responsibilities and services, whereas um, veterans may go to the VA to find out what type of uh, services the VA provides for them. But there are many community services that the VA isn't aware of that we can provide the veterans and that we do provide the veterans, such as there are organizations within our communities that provide assistance and subsidies to pay the rent if a veteran does not have the money to pay his or hers rent for uh, loss of uh, employment, this sort of thing. Sometimes we can uh, have them to have their utilities paid for three months. So these are community services that are provided by community organizations that most people aren't aware of that we share with veterans and we refer them and help them in regards to just uh, community activities that they're unaware of. Something like community activities. Thing. Sure. Sure. Sunday, mm -hmm. did you notice what he was saying? That he mm -hmm. he said he was a Vietnam veteran, and then he had to go on and throw that Marine thing in there. No, <laughs> I, I he, that. he had to do some research. Knew I was in the army. He knew I, I was in the army, that. and he just did that because he knows on camera I wasn't going to challenge him. Yep. But after the show, we're going to find sure. out about this Marine Corps. <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> <Well>, absolutely. <laughs> he he mentioned the uh, the symposium. You want to tell me about that, or, uh, or you want him to do it? Sure, okay. sure. Monthly, as part of our normal responsibilities, we conduct throughout the state of Alabama, different city every month, these economic empowerment financial literacy symposiums. <laughs> and basically, <laughs> basically what these symposiums consist of is we provide the resources, the information, and the technologies that will enable our attendees to do essentially two things. That is to increase their personal assets and their financial options. 
ironically, these are the only two things that actually separate the economic classes in America. So we provide the information that will enable attendees and these, you know, they can do these things themselves to increase and improve their economic viability. And one of the primary uh, targets that we institute is that we really try to encourage the attendees to, first of all, to increase their assets, is to uh, buy a house. Uh, instead of renting and, uh, and during the tax period we try to really encourage them instead of you know getting your tax refund and going out and buying this used car that's going to depreciate time it drives out the, off the lot there are many programs now whereas and it wasn't this way in the past whereas you know there are more options for them to uh, be in the correct position to buy a house yeah. and we really target that that aspect I signed the day, uh, the symposium. What, you were BBVA bank, mm -hmm. and you're the city president. Of the, what is the, How does your bank work with these? With this? Uh, how we fit in? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we are a big supporter in giving back in every community that we are aligned with, and so what he is presenting is financial literacy and encouraging people in the home buying process, which is something that we, as a bank, uh, we're very client centric. And so we have budgeting tools and we have you know, people in our branches that are mortgage banking experts. And it's a good alignment with what he is going to teach people at the symposium, um, talking the importance of budgeting, um, planning for buying the house. And we as a bank, we encourage people if they've never seen their credit bureau report, order the free copy. There's a very good starting point. From the Equifax thing, is that what you're talking Well, about? it's actually a website that um, is www.annualcreditreport.gov. www.annualcreditcardreport.gov. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Annualcreditreport.gov. Okay. Okay. And what that does is once a year, you do get your free credit bureau report. And it does not give you your score, but it will list all the creditors and how you've paid. and. That's a good point that you can bring in and talk yeah. to a mortgage expert, whether it be a bank or a credit union. So you can do that at the symposium. You bring somebody's up their information, showing them how to bring that up and look at it there at the symposium. Well, what we do, and I'm glad Ms. Coleman brought this up, is because one of the uh, preliminary um, aspects of the symposium is that we introduce to the attendees a five-step methodology whereas they do this themselves, they can improve their credit report or their oh, credit okay. history. And in concert with what uh, Ms. Coleman is saying, we show them how they can order their credit report for free. Now, in the past, you used to always have to pay for it, but yeah. now mm -hmm. Alabama has stepped up to the plate as well as other states, whereas you can get your credit report now for free once a year. Uh, actually, if you uh, are denied any form of credit within that same year, you can still get your credit report for, for free. And we show the attendees how to utilize the credit report, how to read it, how to understand it, and how to improve their credit report from the basic mechanics of this report. So I was glad that Ms. Coleman brought that up because that's one of the central features of this symposium in helping them to improve their economic viability and qualify for, uh, for mortgage loans. And that, I want to put this down here, that uh, symposium is going to be oh. uh, 720, I've got less than a minute, I'm going to have to do this, 720 <laughs> okay. West 14th Street in Anniston on April 30th, right. April 30th, 6.30 p.m. till 7.30 p.m. Right. And uh, we'll talk more about that in a minute. That's sure. on uh, 720 West 14th Street. I don't know Carver where that, Community that's the Center. Carver Community Center. Carver Community Center, I got Community you. Center. And uh, <laughs> so we need to do that. Let me... Let us go to a break, come back. I want to talk more, especially on Sunday, about the finance and uh, financial yes. part of it. We're going to go to a break, come back, got more on the fair housing. <laughs> Welcome back in. Uh, we're talking to Sonda Coleman and uh, Andre Lang, and we're talking about the fair housing agency, and we're talking about an upcoming symposium. A lot more words than I need to talk about. Again, that is on. Uh, the 30th, and uh, it's just a couple of days away at the Carver Community Center at 720 West 14th Street in Anniston. That's on Wednesday, April 30th from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. And if you got any questions about that, call me on, my information will be here on the screen, and you can call me and I'll give you that information. But uh, when we were, uh, Sunday, how does the, how do your, your bank financially 
um, when somebody's getting ready to buy a home or something like that, how do you engage in them? What do you offer in this thing? Well, I do not handle mortgage buying. We have experts in our bank who are mortgage certified or a mortgage banking officer. And so all of our branches that are here in Calhoun County or over in Gadsden, they have a person in the branch who is certified to talk about mortgages. But the good thing about what Mr. Lang is presenting is education is a huge part of buying a home. And that's a long-term commitment. And so walking through what mm -hmm. he's discussing for the symposium, you know, if you pull your credit bureau report and you look about what your home budget needs to be, you know, there are banks and credit unions that can, you know, tell you how much house you can afford as long as you're educated about your monthly budget, what outflows are, how much of a home payment you could afford. And so what Mr. Lang is bringing to our community is a really good service because people who may not have access can come to his symposium and you know, hear what the process is going to look like and some good pointers, how to improve your credit bureau score if there's some blemishes on that credit bureau record. Um, but all of our branches are set up and, and you know, you can look on the internet, the www.bbvacompass.com and it will discuss the mortgage home buying process and put you with an expert. Well, you know, we were talking out in the green room about um, by the end of this year, we're going to have 20,000 veterans coming back Alabama mm -hmm. and some will have jobs and uh, some will be we've got people watching that are uh, the spouses of someone who's serving in Afghanistan right now and when they come home uh, one of the things they want to be looking for housing and uh, you know this this temporary situation where mm -hmm. the wife is or in some cases where the spout the man is mm -hmm. the spouse is uh, the Absolutely. wife is serving so they, at that time, they want to say, okay, let's settle down and let's get us a home. And so I can hear sure, them coming, sure. yeah. the spouse that's here now to be there mm -hmm. on the 30th Good. for the symposium to get yeah. information. Excellent. And Ken, the other thing uh, that we uh, do on this symposium is that we dispel a lot of the myths that govern home buying and, and the processes for home buying. And we provide them with the tools and like I said, the resources and the technologies so that we target as your primary personal asset home ownership. And this is what we consider to be very key because if you are a homeowner, then you do have far more financial options that become available to you. And again, those are the only two ingredients that separate the economic classes here in America. So we provide that all within this one hour period. And, uh, and that normally will include the test, uh, the question and answer time. But we encourage the entire public to come to this particular symposium is free to everyone and uh, we can assure you that you will receive some valuable information that will help you economically and to uh, really spearhead you in the direction to become uh, a homeowner. I would think that from uh, Sonda's perspective at a bank if somebody comes in and says one of the questions are you renting or you're mm -hmm. buying or whatever those there's probably a little bit better more mm -hmm. weight on that but mm -hmm. if you're I know some folks that have paid, that have in the past been paying double mm -hmm. for rent, mm -hmm. sure. what they could own their own home for, and they were afraid to take that leap. Yep. Absolutely, they just don't want to go yeah. out there and yeah. and go to that. And yeah. this is not a minority thing. This of course. is for everybody. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. This and 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 Kim, we also not a welfare thing. I want to make no, sure. Of course not. Okay. No, no. We we also show the disparities between home ownership and renting within these uh, symposiums. So, you know, it's a situation that we also give to the attendees options, and we just try to show them what the actual facts are in regards to where your advantages may be when it comes to renting and when it comes to buying a house. And let me finally say this, Ken, that uh, in the past, uh, home ownership had uh, far more different guidelines, and it was, in my personal judgment, a little bit more stringent. Nowadays, the programs have far more options and, and there are far more flexible uh, uh, guidelines that will enable people nowadays to, uh, to buy a house. And with most vet veterans, I know with myself, we still you know, had the GI Bill that we can use to, yeah. to buy a house. So I'm sure that that's in effect to a significant degree. So yeah. that's one advantage that veterans already have that will enable them to, to buy a house. 
When I first, uh, well, for years and years, I rented it, and I, I, sure, I, sure. I put a pin to it one time. Mm -hmm. But I finally decided, after all, to use my VA, get sure. a VA mm -hmm. loan. Absolutely. Wow. That's right. And they That's were right. such a big difference to yeah. be able to walk yeah. the table and say, I'm a veteran. That's and right. And clear, yeah. got a discharge. And yeah. So why not use it? Why not use all that? Absolutely. But I want to make sure we get this phone number. This, sure. this number, this is where the pin comes in, folks. 251. <laughs> Six six zero seven seven three three, uh, two five one six six zero seven seven three three, and again it's at the Carver Community Center at seven twenty West Fourteenth Street here in Anniston, and uh, at uh, six thirty in the evening. But if you lost all of that, call me like you normally do. Call mm -hmm. me home, and I got that information for you. Now, why why does uh, why does a, a service get involved with a veterans? Why is it just veterans? Why are you doing that? Well, it's not necessarily just veterans, but we feature veterans. One I mean, why reason. do you pull them in? Is yeah, it, uh, Ken, way. because not only am I a veteran and I'm the uh, executive officer, but three of our board members are also veterans. Mm -hmm. And so we have always recognized and realized that uh, once we return home as veterans, that we're going to need assistance and we're going to need these uh, uh, services to help us to get back to where we normally should be. Uh, so we have made it a priority to, uh, to target veterans in regards to all of our service activities. And to this day, we've been here since 1997, and we continue to, uh, from our inception, uh, provide services to the uh, United States veteran. Right. While I'm thinking about it, I want to commend you on something. Yeah. You don't realize you're doing it, but you're saying the word veterans, the same sure. thing on the screen. All right. How yeah. many times do you hear somebody stand on the floor of Congress, these veterans, we're sure. for the veterans, yeah. and uh, yeah. in the control room, yeah. they're hearing what, you, what you're saying, and sure. I'm, I'm hearing it too, and I pre appreciate it. Yeah because we are veterans. Yeah, absolutely. Even though you're in the Marine Corps, we still give you that. Where does your um, there's, there's money involved in the support that you do? Where mm -hmm. does it get its money? We, we normally, um, historically and even currently, the, uh, the bulk of our funding comes from foundations. We normally write proposals to foundations that have um, interest in areas and services that parallel what we do in the community. And in concert with that, we also get support from our local businesses, such as BBVA Compass. And uh, so those are the two main uh, resources for, for our funding. And um, so far, we've, we've, uh, we've been able to stay above board on everything. <laughs> I appreciate you, you coming down here and doing it. Thank you. You drove a long way to get up here from Thank uh, Alabaster, yeah. and I really appreciate that. And on Great. the 30th, I may try to drop by there and see what you got We're going look on. Thank to you, it. Sonda. Thank you for I having me. It. Thank you. Can I call you Sonda? Sunday? <laughs> you can call me Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday, Monday. Too. I, I appreciate that. I really appreciate both of you on there. I hope Thank the veterans you. got something for that. Absolutely. we got to go to break. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Veterans Issues. Thank the guests for coming on today. And we got some good information out there. And again, if you didn't get those numbers and dates and times, give me a call at my information here on the screen. And uh, I'll be glad to get you in touch with these folks and uh, veterans uh, spouses out there. I hope you paid attention to that. Now, if you're watching this show on the 24th, you got time to get down to the uh, to call Gary Sparks. I don't call him early in the morning, but Gary Sparks, <laughs> Chief Sparks of the Fire Department here in Oxford. They're having the Oxford Quarterback Club is having their annual um, event, uh, banquet, and they are giving away $10,000. That's 10 big ones. And uh, the number to call is 256-310-4691. 256-310-4691. Call Sparky and tell them you want to get a ticket to that $10,000 banquet. And there's other prizes they give away also. So. And anyone out there that has an automobile that they're not using and it's running, uh, there's a couple of widows that own that that uh, watch the show that need to help, and we'll give you a tax write-off for that if you know someone that's got an automobile that they could uh, they want to get a tax deduction for. Uh, give me a call at that eight three one two eight three eight, and I will uh, two five six naturally, and I'll to give you the receipt for your uh, taxes. So I want to thank everybody that uh, that purchased a law enforcement tag. That has been very helpful to us toward uh, trying to build a law enforcement memorial in Anniston, and it'll help the uh, the uh, law enforcement 
uh, memorial up in Washington, D.C. A lot of you bought them. I see them around town, and uh, it's it's really helping. Now, thank WAC for their allowing me to do this show every week, and, and the veterans moments that you see on here every week uh, brought to you by Steve Hurst, K.L. Brown, and Randy Wood. I want to thank them for sponsoring that because it's the only way, the only way that uh, veterans get information is from this show because there's no way that uh, to, to get that information out of Montgomery other than this. And if you'd like to help us at the Chihaw Regional Humane Shelter, the phone number out there is 256-241-3647. had Jane Cunningham on, here, Cunningham on here last week. We're talking about that, and uh, that's a great, great organization. Um, can't, nothing here, no, personally, we don't get a, we don't, they're not a sponsor, but Oxford Tire gives a 10% discount to all the veterans. So if you got a $400 deal, you got $40 off, and that covers the taxes, so why not get it done? They're great people, do great work, and uh, they're great friends of me, and uh, they've helped me a lot over the years with vehicles. If you'd like to have one of those canes everybody's talking about, you call Jack York at 256-237-4743. 237-4743. I'll uh, see what I got. I got some time left today. I love that. If you'd like to help us build those memorials up there in Centennial Park for the Afghanistan, Iraq, law enforcement, firefighters, the official memorials for the state of Alabama, here's where you can send your tax deductible uh, tax deductible donation <laughs> that's hard to say the community foundation p.o box 1826 uh, p.o box 1826 aniston 36202 put centennial memorials on there and that way you'll get a uh, deduction for your taxes and uh let's see uh, let me find out oh yeah the um uh, the requirement for the word veteran on your driver's license you used to have to take your dd214 you do not have to do that. This last session, they passed a law, and you do not have to take your uh, DD-214 to get your uh, get the word veteran put on. You can have other forms of ID, a discharge papers, anything, but you don't have to have the DD-214 and get that word veteran on your driver's license. And I've got it on mine, and uh, it <laughs> I don't know what good it does, except it gives me discounts everywhere I go that they give <laughs> veterans discount, and I've used it several times. But uh, it also makes feel good for the somebody to see my driver's life with the word veteran on there so so uh this week i want to get our salute i want to say hey to bella and caitlin and then this week's shout out uh, this week's salute goes to all those who befriend our little pets and we'll see you next week here on veterans issue we're gone